Have you ever wondered what horse racing is like in Japan? No? Well, let me show you anyway. So last weekend, my boyfriend's co-worker, his senior at work, invited us to Sunday lunch and to also check out this newly opened horse racing track in our prefecture. So we are definitely not gamblers or whatsoever, but I think it's so interesting to keep it to ourselves. So here it is. Please enjoy. This horse racing park is located in Kanazawa City, but you can also watch and bet on races here, broadcasted live from different locations in Japan. First of all, look at the size of this place. I didn't expect this to be this big. There are at least three different spacious parking lots, and there are also bus stops that shuttle people for free to and from Kanazawa, Takauka, and Toyama stations. You literally have no excuse to say no if this is your thing. As I mentioned earlier, you can also watch and bet on races here. This is this month and next month's schedule of races. This is the main building where you can watch races, get tickets, bet on horses, claim your prize, and even eat. Yes, there are food and drink stations inside this building. There's also a restaurant that serves traditional Japanese foods like ramen, soba, udon, tonkatsu, and so much more. And this is one of the many vending machines in this building. There are vending machines on every floor of this building where you can buy both hot and cold drinks. The main building has washrooms on every floor that are very clean and modern. And look, this one even has a bidet. TV screens display previous races results, stats of the horses for each race, the most popular horses, and what I call the horse fashion shows. This is the general sitting area inside the building. Since this is indoors, you can comfortably watch races even if you forgot to apply sunscreen. If you want to be closer to the action, you can also watch the races outside. They painted these on the ground but I didn't really see anyone using them. Also, if you choose to watch outside, there are outdoor benches that you can use. There is a paid seating area where you can watch the race on a more comfortable chair with your own table and a free drink for only 1000 yen. Paid or unpaid, seating areas have air conditioning so you'll be comfortable either way. The park is implementing COVID-19 protocols, not allowing people to sit next to each other, and also there are hand sanitizing stations everywhere. I call this the horse fashion show, although I'm sure there's a proper name for it. Before each race, the competing horses walk around in a small track to show off their beauty, energy, and I guess overall vibes. Spectators watch this show carefully, taking notes, making sure that they're betting on the right horse. You might have noticed some people are holding sheets of paper while watching the fashion show. This guide is about the competing horses, which includes their winning history, gained or lost weight, and everything expert bettors could possibly need to know. People usually head to the ticket stations after the show to place their bets. Everything here is machine operated, and you can find tickets like this everywhere in the building. The ticket tables also have these pencils to help you easily place your bet, which we accidentally brought home. Sorry. The machines are pretty easy to use. You just need to put in your money and the cards where you placed your bet. Since it was our first time, we made a lot of mistakes, like this one where we placed our bet without putting enough money. But you can bet as little as 100 yen. You can then get the ticket as a proof of your bet. This is a signal that the race is about to begin. Thank you. 
<laughs> we tried a few more times but we didn't win not even once i believe that was a sign that gambling is not for us which i guess is a good thing after all We stayed a little bit more to just watch the next races before heading to the exit to check the other restaurants. Outside on the other side of the building, there are other restaurants and food stalls that people can enjoy. We decided to order a takeout at a yakisoba and takoyaki restaurant. This is a sushi restaurant, a kids room that's currently closed due to COVID and is trying to pray to the gods of horses.